Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be creating this look using the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop Where the Night Is quad. I do know that this quad is um, no longer for sale, but I do include a couple of dupes for you so you can go out and purchase those from the Colourpop website and you can go ahead and follow along. Well if you want to see how I get this look, then just keep on watching. So I've already done my eyebrows and eye primer off camera just to kind of save time and so literally we're only going to be working with these two shades I did not lay a transition shade down I just really packed on the color and blended it out smoothly to get the look that I had so the only brush I'm going to be using is this elf blending brush and we're going to go ahead and lay the telepathy color down and on our crease now when you first put it on it does look a little bit crazy not even going to lie but as with all things, you just gotta be patient and it'll turn out the way you want it to. And I want this eye look to be really rounded, so I'm really working the color from inner crease to outer crease, or from inner eye to outer eye in a really um, like half circle shape. Now I'm going to take off the, all the excess on my brush, and then I'm just going to blend out the edges. literally that's it it's just the process of building up the color in the crease that takes such a long time so I'm gonna go ahead and just build up the color and that's gonna be it for the crease color one thing with ColourPop shadows is once you're done working with them you really want to make sure that you close them at least for the super shock shadows because they will dry out I haven't had that experience yet but I do know some people who didn't close up their eyeshadows and they dried out so next I am taking the shade Telepathy and this is going to go all over my lid. And so now that we have the telepathy shade um, put down, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to blend the outer corner inward. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the midnight shade and put that in my outer corner and blend it inward also. So now that we have one eye basically done, I'm going to go off camera, do my other eye, finish my face, and then I'll come back and finish the eyes. Okay, so now that I have both eyes done, we're going to go ahead and move to eyeliner. So the eyeliner that I'm going to be using is this NYX, what is this called, matte liquid liner. And I love this liner. It's a very good dupe for the NYC liquid liner that everyone loves. It has a very small brush tip, which is over here, Tyler. <laughs> which is really good for getting that precise wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes.
Okay, so now that I have my eyeshadow and eyeliner on, I'm just going to clean up the excess fallout with a makeup wipe. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and all that fun stuff, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the rest of my face is done, we're going to move back to the eyes. And I'm going to start by taking this like flat um, square brush, and I'm going to run the two shadows underneath my eye. I'm first starting with the shade Telepathy, and that's going to go on my inner corner. And then the shade Midnight is going to go on my outer corner. Alright, so now we're going to move on to applying our false lashes and mascara. And then for falsies, I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi eyelashes. Alright, so that's it for this look. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and click that little bell notification down there so that way you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright, you guys. Bye!